My name is Luis and I am from Home Tech Laser. We are here located in our showroom in Southern California. This is the second part of our laser tube installation video guide. Carefully remove your laser tube from its packaging. Make sure it's not damaged. A simple trick would be just rattling the laser tube. Make sure you don't hear any noises. Also make sure that it's the correct diameter for the stance on your machine. Make sure that it has a black grounding cable connection and a red power cable connection as well. Once you have your laser tube ready, you will carefully install it back the opposite way of how you removed it. You will lift up the right side and insert it on the left side. Once placed on a stand, you need to make sure that the distance between the tip of the laser tube and the frame of, of mirror number one is about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Once you have your laser tube positioned correctly on the laser stands, you will then connect both your inlet water hose and your outlet water hose. If you want, you could also connect the zip tie on those connections just to have a more secure connection. You would then strip and twist the wires of the exposed cables of both the grounding and the power cables. So when it comes to the wiring connections, you want to strip each of the cables and leave about a third of an inch of wiring exposed. That third of an inch, you would then twist together on both the grounding cable and the power cable. Ideally, you would want to solder these connections for a more secure connection, but if you don't have the correct equipment or don't feel comfortable doing that, you can strip the wires, twist them together, and connect them with electrical tape. For the red power connection, you would want to trim some of the red cabling on the wire. That way when you insert the white ceramic block, it will be easier to insert the cables all the way in. After you do that, you would then have to wrap the ceramic block and start about half an inch from the power cables themselves with electrical tape. Uh, that way you can prevent arcing issues. Once you have connected both your grounding and your power cable successfully, you would then have to measure the distance between the laser tip and the frame of mirror number one. Again, you want to make sure that that distance is around half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Once you have that distance measured correctly, you would then secure the mounts on the laser stand and you have to make sure that you, you do not over tighten the screws. After you have secured your laser mount stand, you will then connect and tape the black wiring cables to the mount and the red power cables to the body of the laser tube. Once you do that, you will then be ready to test fire your laser. We do have an additional video on how to perform a beam alignment. Mm -hmm.